How big a part does luck play in things? Are some people luckier than others? Or do you make your own luck? I've been thinking about luck a lot lately, ever since I had to leave Solar Blue and come home. The one thought goes round and round in my head. Why me? Why did it happen to me? I mean, it was not like I was the only guy on the beach, so why did she pick me out? It wasn't like I'd done anything to provoke it. It just came out of nowhere, for no reason at all. The funny thing is, is that at the time, everyone thought it was fantastic luck that I got all the attention. Later, when I got glandular fever, everything seemed to go in reverse. Suddenly, it was like the worst kind of bad luck. Every day since, I just keep thinking, if only. If only I hadn't been in that spot at that time. If only I hadn't stopped when I saw her coming. If only I'd kept walking, then I'd still be where I should be, back at Solar Blue. Those guys just have no idea how lucky they are. Hey, Beck. <sighs> We've had a serious complaint. Complaint? About what? Insect invasion. Can't keep the flies out. That's ridiculous. I've just had all the window screens and the doors fixed, so there shouldn't be any problem whatsoever with... Hey, Peck. Fly? I don't believe it. <laughs> it's so good to see you. You too. I gather you don't mind this fly getting through the crack. This fly is welcome any time. I take it you've met our new Simo. Yep, Gary and I met on tour at the start of the year. It's a lucky break, really, because Fly was the one who told me about the coaching vacancy here. So you're to blame. Worked out well, eh? Well, come sit. Tell me what's been happening with you. I want to know everything. I'll chuck your bags upstairs, Fly. Hope you don't mind bunking with one of the kids. Happy to camp anywhere. So, what are you even doing here? Bit of bad luck, really. Bad luck? Thanks, Fly. No, I flew in from New Zealand, but I missed my connection to Perth, so I thought if I'm stuck in Sydney, I might as well come and know you for a night. Well, your bad luck is my good luck. It panned out perfectly. I really wanted to come over and see you. I'm so stoked that you did. But be warned. Once the troops find out you're here, you won't get a moment to yourself. Uh. That's amazing. Eight different countries in five months. I think it's eight. Nine if you count Australia. So what did you like best? Honestly, I've hardly seen much of them. Oh, it's pretty much beaches and boarding houses everywhere I go. Not that I'm complaining, the beaches have been awesome. What have your results been like? So far, two-thirds and a fourth. For someone in their first year on the tour, that's excellent. I got lucky, I guess. Oh, rubbish. It's not just about luck. It's about ability and hard work. Helps if you get good waves, though. Oh, you still got to position yourself to get the waves, and then you got to execute the manoeuvres once you're on them. That's not luck. Oh, what do you think, Fly? What Gary says is true, but you can still do everything right and still miss out if the waves don't come. You are being too hard on yourself, Fly. You are doing well because you're good, not because you're lucky. But maybe if she'd been luckier, she would have done better. <sighs> what are you guys on about? I mean, you can talk about luck until the cows come home, but the simple fact is you have to go out there and make it happen. You can't just sit there and wait for it to happen to you. Adam is our resident philosopher on these things. Uh, yeah, when he's not goofing around, which is pretty much all the time, hey? <laughs> yeah, that fly, that is jealousy and envy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds just like our you, Beck. Nothing changes. So are we going to have the chance to have a surf with you this afternoon? Oh, please, that'd be so good. Yes. Give the poor girl a break. She's been on planes all morning. She doesn't even have a board here. We've got boards. Yeah, what do you say? Fly, don't let them bully you. If you'd rather put your feet up, just say so. OK, sure, I'll go out with you guys. Yeah. Woo! Uh, <laughs> I got some towels for you. Thanks. Uh, Chrissy? Cassie. Cassie, sorry. No, don't worry. I just can't believe my luck that I get to share a room with you. I mean, you're a legend around here. Hope you still feel the same way in the morning if I start snoring tonight. You don't, do you? <laughs> Not that I know of. But you never know, there's always a first time. <laughs> Say, I noticed there are only five of you at lunch today. Who's missing? Oh, um, a dude named Charlie. Yeah, he got hit pretty hard with glandular fever. Oh, what a drag. Will he be back? Yeah, I think so. Oh, we all hope so. But that's crazy. You haven't thought this through. I have thought about it. It's all I've thought about for the past four weeks. I've lost a whole month on you guys. It's going to take me at least a week before I can get back, and then another couple of weeks before I can start serious work. That's two months, Lauren. There's no way I can catch that up. That still gives you four months to get up to speed for the finals. When I can make an idiot of myself by coming a distant last. Once you're fit and surfing again, you'll be as competitive as anyone. Lauren, listen. I appreciate the support, I really do. But there's no point in kidding myself. This isn't my year. Lauren, you coming? I've got to go, Charlie. Can we talk about this some more, please? What more is there to say? I'll call you tomorrow, OK? Don't make any decisions before we talk. Promise? Lauren, I've already made up my... Promise? OK, I promise. OK, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Bye for now. Bye. I knew what Lauren was saying, but things don't work like that. 
It doesn't matter what you call it, luck, fate, chance. If something's not meant to be, then it's not meant to be. You can fight against it for a while, but sooner or later, you just have to accept it. Hey, Fly, what about this one? I don't know what your preferences are, but this board's nice and light. Do you mind if I check something first? Okay. Lauren, are you all right? Yeah, no dramas. I cannot believe this is still here. You're not gonna use that one, are you? You bet. Are you serious, Fly? I was gonna throw this out. No. This was my lucky board when I was here. I want more comps on this than any of the new ones. But isn't it like well and truly past its use by date? Yeah, but if it works for you, then who cares how old it is? Oh, the brake looks just as good as ever. What do you reckon, north or south then? What sort of answer is that? I've given you such a big rap, Fly. They all just want to sit here and watch you. Oh, but we're supposed to be having fun. You can still have fun, Fly. Yeah, we just want to see how Pro tackles our local break. Just a couple of sets, please. Then we'll be in it up to our ears. All right, but you better not fold on me. If she can do it, so can you. Right? Let's think positive. Not ready yet? Not think at all? Even you could handle that, couldn't you, Guy? Ah, oh, we're all funny today, aren't we? Good stuff, boy. I'd hate to imagine what you'd be like on a real board. Don't you dare throw this one away. I'll be back someday and I'll hold you responsible if it's gone. I wouldn't dream of it. I'll personally wrap this in cotton wool. <laughs> Wait, serious? Did you really win comps on that? Absolutely. Don't ask me why, but I always felt good on it. And when you feel good, it's amazing the life that goes with you. Now you know my secret, I'm the worst snooker player in Solar Blue history. <laughs> Great. Thanks. Still hope for me then. <laughs> Thanks, people, but if you excuse me, I better hit the sack, otherwise I'll miss a plane in the morning. Mm -hmm. Can you book a taxi for 5.30? Sorry, not possible. Since when? Since I'll be driving you myself. Yeah. You don't have to do that. You do the same for me. Yeah, but... But nothing, Fly. I will see you down here at 5.30 tomorrow morning. Thanks. Night, no, guys. Night, no, 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 no. Your shot next, Lauren. Sorry, I've just got to whip upstairs for a second. You have my go for me. Sorry. Hi. Sorry, but could I talk to you for a minute? Sure, come in. Sorry, I won't take long, I promise. It's OK. What's the problem? It's actually a friend of mine, of all of us, Charlie Prince. The boy who got glandular fever. He lives over in Perth and as you're going to Perth, I was wondering if you could call in to see him. About anything in particular? It's a bit of a story. That's okay. Ten minutes less sleep won't kill me. Fly Watson? What's she got to do with anything? Why bring her into this? All I'm asking is that you talk to her. That's all you have to do. But why? What's done is done, Lauren. She can't change what's happened. I'm not saying she can. Then why waste her time and mine going on about it? Just give it a go, will you? Please. Lauren, I honestly don't see how this can possibly... Look, I'll make a bargain with you. Meet Fly and hear what she has to say. Then you can make your own decision. And whatever you decide, I'll go with it. 
promise I'll never bug you about it again, okay? All right. I can't believe this will change anything, but... I'm only trying to help you, Charlie. Yeah, I know. It's not that I'm not grateful or anything. I know. Let's just see how it goes. Ah, oh, and by the way... What? She's a really nice person. You'll like her. Well, at least that part sounds good. Lauren? Hey, Beck. Just going to the gym. When I drove Fly to the airport this morning, she told me about your conversation last night. About Charlie? I should have guessed she'd tell you. Why didn't you tell me? I'm sorry, Beck. It's just that Charlie's in such a state about things, I didn't know what to do. Well, even more reason to tell me. Sometimes I can sort things out from another angle, one you mightn't have thought of. But I can't if I don't know. It was difficult. He didn't want me to tell anyone. He was even upset that I told Fly. Look. I know it's hard trying to be loyal to your friends and doing the right thing by the Academy, but Gary and I aren't the enemy. If there's a problem, let us know. We want to help, OK? Right. Understood. Anyway, for what it's worth, I think you did a smart thing by telling Fly. I mean, she's a small package, but when she sets her mind to something, she's an irresistible force. Don't guard it too hard. You need to take things slowly when you're coming back from illness. Otherwise, you risk more injury. Thanks, but I don't think I'm in any danger of that at the moment. Fair enough. I used to surf out there when I was 12. I thought you were from Margaret River. You've done your homework. Lauren said you'd be calling in, so I checked her out on the Solar Blue website. Smart move. Fly Watson. Pleased to meet you, Charlie. Your mum showed me in. Hope now's a convenient time to drop by. So how come you've surfed this beach? Got Nana lives a few streets up. We'd sometimes stay with her on summer holidays. Oh, what do you know? Might have been out there on the same wave once. No way. No boys ever got on my waves. I'd kick them off. <laughs> well, I've never been kicked off by anyone, let alone a ring in from Margaret River. You've got something to look forward to then, haven't you? Look, Fly, I appreciate you coming here, but it won't do any good. Why is that? Because I know exactly what you're going to say and I won't buy it. What am I going to say? That just because I've had a setback shouldn't stop me from returning to Solar Blue. That if I train hard, I can still catch up and win at the end of the year. Then this might come as a bit of a surprise because I wasn't going to say any of that. Well, what were you going to say? Nothing. I'm here to take you for an outing. An outing? Your mum agrees. She thinks it'll do you good to get out of the house for a bit. Well, where to? I thought you might like to go for a little picnic. Sure, I guess. Oh, don't forget, there's a book sale on at lunchtime. They're selling back copies of old surfing mags if anyone's interested. Ah, count me in. Oh, I don't suppose anyone's got any spare change on them, do they? <laughs> oh, Guy, you're hopeless. I reminded you about it last night. Well, I was so busy writing my essay, I forgot. Speaking of which, I'm about to go past the staff drop box. Anyone wants me to drop their assignments? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. You're in luck, Guy. I've got a spare ten dollars. Oh, luck indeed, Lauren. You're a legend. Thank you so much. I'll pay back tonight. Guy, you've got the wrong heading on your assignment. What? It's the economic effects of World War One, not two. You're kidding. <laughs> it's okay. You can just change the title page. Mr. Saver might mind. But that's what I've written about. What? I wrote about the economic effects of World War Two, Bridget. I copied the question directly from your notepad. There is no way that I wrote two. Why would I write two when the textbook we were reading clearly said World War One? Oh, yeah, you read it too, Guy. I saw you. I was reading a novel. <laughs> well, it was exciting and I had to finish it. I thought you guys would at least get the question right. <laughs> so it's our fault that you got the assignment question wrong. No. Sorry, I'm not blaming you. Oh, that's very good of you, Guy. We really appreciate that. Well, I better go and suck up to Mr. Seven now. All the rotten luck. <laughs> that boy is classic. <laughs> Can you carry this box? Yeah. Lots of stuff for just two people. Sorry, I should have mentioned. We're meeting my aunt, the one I used to stay with on holidays here. How many plates does she need? And there's a few of her friends here as well. I thought it might be interesting for you to meet them too. Heather, we're here. Oh, good. You managed to get everything? Got all of it. Heather, this is Charlie. Oh, pleased to meet you, Charlie. Thanks for coming. No worries. Charlie, would you mind getting over there and just spreading out the blanket? Sure. Um, where would you like this to go? Oh, look, anywhere's fine. Charlie's a local here on a break from Solar Blue. But you're a surfer too. Oh, that's excellent. That's just what we need. Where are the others? Already down at the beach. I can't tell you how excited they all are. 
Just hope none of them have decided to swim on out to Africa. <laughs> <laughs> Great. We'll go down and join them. You ready for a swim, Charlie? Oh, uh, I didn't bring any boardies, sorry. No worries. Here. Have a look in the boot. My uncle's about your size and there's at least three pairs of boardies in there. You can change in the car. So glad you're able to help us out, Charlie. It's really hard to find people to help out on a weekday. It's very good of you. It's all right, no worries. I'll... Mr. Seven. Mr. Seven. Guy, oh, you seem inspired by an uncharacteristic sense of urgency today. Well, I've been looking for you all morning. Well, I've been at a history conference. I do hope that's OK. Ah, uh, yeah, sir. Sorry. So, what's the problem? Um, I've had a bit of bad luck, oh, sir. Bad luck? That's no good. Year 11's tough enough without having bad luck to send upon you. Exactly, Mr. Seven. I couldn't have put that better myself. So, what form has his bad luck taken, precisely? Uh, well, you're not going to believe this, but you know that essay we had to write on World War One. Yes. Well, get this. I, I, I slaved away for three hours last night, and I... You're seriously not going to believe this. I wrote about World War Two. Oh, dear, that is bad luck. Yes, see, exactly. I knew you'd understand. Because now you're going to have to write two essays instead of one. What? The challenge with an essay is to read and understand the question properly. Now, we have had this discussion before, guys. Yeah, but so but I... But because you've already written an essay, I'm going to be extremely generous and give you another chance. But, sir, that means I'm doing twice as much work as everyone else. True, but think of the increased understanding you'll have as a result. You're a lucky man, Guy. Not many people get an opportunity like this. So, what was all that stuff your auntie was going on about? Why the big thank you for just turning up? You'll see. Come on, Fly. I agreed to go on a picnic, not some mystery adventure tour. What's going on? Here's a one and only bit of advice that I'm going to give you today, Charlie. Just go with the flow. Righto, guys. We're going to have a lot of fun out there today. The water is just beautiful. Hey, Scott. Hang on for a sec. Brought another helper along. Charlie, meet Scott. Good day, Charlie. Thanks for coming. No worries. Charlie's at the same surf academy I went to, but his family lives locally. Fantastic. You ever helped out in a beach camp before? Um, not exactly, no. That's easy, right? You just get out there and have fun. You can do that, Charlie. What do you reckon? Yes, yeah. I give the guys a bit of a hand if they need it, and just make sure nobody floats off to Antarctica if the currents change. Couldn't be simpler. Go on, gang. Let's go. Hey, lighten up. We're here to have fun, remember? You don't need anybody's words to set you straight. Same way you don't need anybody's hands to tie you down. It's not like I'm the one who fired you down. Come on, step outside, dance around. Dance away the day. You don't need these passing hands of time to guide you. Come on, step outside, dance around, dance away the day. Hey, I've got an idea. Noodle eating competition. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We all need noodles. Yeah. There you go. I'll get you. All right, I'll That's judge the noodle one. competition. Yeah. No, I'll judge. Okay, I'll get my. I'll get my long one. one. Take a long one. First person who can eat it. Three, two. Ah, oh, <laughs> you're cheating. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to beat us like okay. well, oh Sophie's on the gun. Let's go, 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 go,
hopefully see you again. Yeah, cheers. No worries. Bye, Scott. See ya. See you next week, Heather. Will do. Now, just the joy of cleaning up and we can all go home. Oh, no way. Charlie and I'll do that, won't we, Charlie? Yeah, sure. It'll take us, like, five minutes. Are you sure? I'll drop everything back on the way home. Thanks. That'd be a great help. <laughs> see ya! See you later, guys. Bye. See ya. Great kid day. Eh? Yeah, real dynamos. So, Fly, are you going to tell me or am I supposed to guess? Tell you what? The point of this little expedition. It wasn't just to keep me out of the house for a while, was it? No, although that wasn't a bad thing either by the look of it. <laughs> True. You tell me, how do you think this afternoon went? I thought it was good. Everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. At least I didn't hear any complaints. That's the point, isn't it? Sorry? You think you're unlucky, right? That things have gone against you and there's no point going back to Solar Blue. I don't think that, I know it. Then what did you think about those kids today? How do you mean? They could think they're unlucky, but did you hear any complaints from them? No, but it's... No, but they've got a million times more reasons to gripe than you have. Well, that's unfair. Is it? You've got it easy. You can make choices. You can make decisions about your future in ways that are impossible for them. That's as lucky as it gets. It's a different thing, Fly. Is it? You've had a setback. So what? Life's full of setbacks. You just get on and deal with them. I am dealing with them. By copping out? By blaming bad luck for things instead of taking responsibility for them yourself? I thought you said you weren't going to give me any advice. Sorry. I can't help myself sometimes. <laughs> Let's go for a walk. I know, it's always boring to hear what people have done in the past years. Well, I have a feeling you're going to tell me anyway. It's just that when I was at Solar Blue, I was in exactly your position at the halfway mark. Seriously? Yeah, I was down in points, totally lacked confidence, and I thought it was all over for me. So what happened? I was lucky, I guess. My coach sensed what was going on and told me to snap out of it. That's all? No. Then I buckled down, worked really hard and... And went on to win. The point is, if I can do it, I reckon anyone can. But the first step is to take responsibility for it, and then it's just hard work. Very hard work. OK, very hard work. But, I mean, it's not like you're down a coal mine. This is surfing we're talking about. How good is that? He wants you to call him back, so do you know what it's about? OK. Cool. Thanks, Bridget. Beck! Have you heard? I just spoke to him. I don't know what Fly did, but it sure worked. He wants to come back. That's great. See, I told you Fly was impossible to resist. How lucky were we that she came by when she did? Very lucky. But hey, everyone deserves a break sometime. Hey, Hanson, we're going to go down to the cafe if you want to come. Yes, I'd love to, but no, I can't. Ah, World War One, huh? Yeah. By the time I finish this, it'll take me longer to write about than it took them to fight it. Well, I mean, at least you get a second chance. Everybody keeps saying that as though somehow I've been given a lucky break. Since when does copying double the work equal good luck? Well, I guess it depends on your point of view. You're yeah, well, right now. My point of view is that life has been very unfair to me today, and I hope that tomorrow it lifts its game. Well, good luck with that. Ah! Don't mention that word. From now on, all forms of luck are banned from this room until I can finish this essay anyway. So how big a part does luck really play in things? If you ask me, it plays a very big part. But I guess what Fly said was true. We all get good luck and bad luck. What matters is how we deal with it. So from now on, there'll be no more whinging from this peanut. It's time to just get on with it and think how lucky I am to be in with a chance.